Time for another virtual pinball tutorial and playthrough. This time, it's the 1977 classic Stingray. Right here, right now, on Digital Victory. This is Stingray, a 1977 Stern table that is an absolute classic. Let's take a minute to appreciate the artwork. Look at this. This table is by Board and is available at VP Universe. I got the link below. God, I love these old solid state tables and this is, is among the very best of them. A quick shout out to uh, G. Parker's Arcade, by the way. He is a pinball guy, both virtual and real, and Stingray happens to be the first real table he ever got. So he spent some time with me today sharing some insight on how to do well and we're gonna pass along some of those tips today in the tutorial. And also Pinstrat's Dan. I spent some time on his stream today picking his brain while he played this and again he he killed it because he's a great player and he was kind enough to share some tips with me as well so thank you guys very much let's talk about some of the table elements so the first element are these drop targets on the left and if you knock down the whole bank of them all five of them you'll get 10 grand 10 grand is a decent award on this table because the free game is awarded at 160 grand so it's not one of those really high scoring tables if you knock them all down, they pop back up and that special will light. And if you knock them down again, you get the special. So the special is a free game plus 100,000 points. Huge special reward there. On the left side, you get the lane going up there with the spinner. The spinner is worth 100 points per spin. So you know, brrr, you might get six, seven, 800 points or whatever. The biggest element on the table is that drop saucer up top. That thing, it is a ball capture saucer with five awards around it. Now, one of those is going to be lit at any given time, and whichever one is lit is the prize you get if you manage to drop the ball into the saucer. Now, the prizes range from 5,000 points. There's one for 55,000 points. There's 5,000 points and double the bonus. Okay, you get a double bonus light. Another one is 5,000 points, and it lights the extra ball on these in lanes here. And the last one is 5,000 points, light the spinner, and light the stingray lane. Okay, now remember I told you the spinner is worth 100 points? Well, if you manage to drop the ball in the saucer when that light spinner light is on, you'll light the spinner light there, and they're worth 1,000 points per. So you could rip a spin through there and get several thousand points. Also, the stingray lane is the lane on the right with these five rollovers. Now these rollovers are worth 100 points each. Not that big a deal. But again, if you manage to drop the ball while that light is lit and light up this bonus multiplier, it multiplies it times 10, so that can be 5,000 points each time you go up. And if you go up and don't quite make it all the way through and it comes back down, it's 10,000 points. Well worth it. Now, there's another saucer in the middle of the table here. Okay, it's another capture hole, and that reflects the one up top. They always have the same thing lit. It's a little different layout, and you can see them, but they light up the same way, and if one is lit at the top, it's gonna be lit at the bottom as well. And some people think maybe that one's a little easier to hit. I don't necessarily agree. Man, it is just brutal. If you miss it and you hit those posts, it's just terrible about going down the out lanes. <laughs> so keep that in mind. The bonuses are shown here. Okay, and they range from 10,000 points all the way up to 100 grand. If you manage to light that double bonus and you get it up to 100 grand, man, that's 200 grand right there and you get a free game at 160. So that's obviously a very valuable thing to do. Advancing the bonus is not easy though. One way to do it is this light in the middle. This says advanced bonus when lit. I haven't discovered how to make it light, by the way. <laughs> it seems to be at random, but when it's lit, if you roll the ball over it, you will advance the bonus. If you're real deft with your flipper hand, you can gently set the ball over it over and over, advance it several times. Now these pop bumpers in the middle, they're worth 100 points each, except when they're lit, then they're worth 1,000. Again, how they're lit, it kind of seems at random. I haven't figured out exactly what makes them light. I think it's just at random though, depending on certain slingshots you hit and things like that. Finally, there is a lane over here on the right where you can advance the bonus as well. It says advanced bonus and when the special is lit, you hit it to light the special, similar to the special on the drop targets there. So I got three main tips that I generally try and follow when I'm playing this game. 
uh, obviously the most important thing is to go in the saucers a lot so tip number one is on your plunge go to a soft plunge I know that when you go a full plunge it does not go in the saucer so mess with it a little bit go to one-third maybe one half power that's tip number one to try and hit that saucer up top number two is use that left spinner lane a lot because number one it takes it up to the saucer area where you might drop it in the saucer again number two it gives you points for the spin and if you happen to have that spinner lit you're getting a thousand points for spin my third tip is don't mess with the drop targets or that center drop hole okay they're danger when you aim for those not nine times out of ten but very often if you miss you're gonna lose it down the out lanes you're gonna hit them anyway during the course of play as the ball's bouncing around so when you have aimed shots take it up the spinner or on the left flipper take it up that right lane. and that is stingray not a whole lot to it get a free game at 160 grand I'm going for 300 grand though that's my goal today 300 grand let's play stingray and we're off get away from that Oof, these outlanes are just brutal on this table that is danger number one these outlanes man down the middle eh, not too often it does happen but not that not that frequently outlanes though <laughs> right on cue outlanes all the time well this is not the start I was hoping for we got 250 grand to go Crazier things have happened, though. Woo. Yikes. Well, that was a crappy game. Let's jump right to another one. That's some of the beauty of these old-school solid-state tables is they are quick. Let's jump right into the next one. Soft plunge. No luck. Get up there. Hey, all right. There we go. Again, the most valuable one to get is the one that lights up the spinner in that out lane. But you have no control over that, so just get it in the saucer and get what you can. That's my sophisticated outlook on strategy. Yikes. Get away. Whew. Okay. Let's keep going. Nice. Well, you know, as part of my study in doing these tutorials, I watch a lot of videos of the real tables being played. And one thing I noticed about this virtual table versus the real table is that the real table seems to drop in the saucers a lot more, but uh, seem to get a lot more of those on the real ones than the virtual. Wow. Boy, can we take a second to appreciate these physics? You know, this is not a VPW table, which are known for their incredible physics, but these feel just as real. These are wonderful physics. Normally, I don't go for the drop targets, but I do have just one left, but look where it is. I, I'm not going to mess with it. Again, it'll probably get hit somewhere along the line. I'm going to keep trying to go up the middle, or uh, trying to go up the spinner. What is it? The, the physics and the the light, uh oh, and the lighting and artwork. Wow, just sublime. That's not a bad first ball. Let's go. 300k is the goal. Soft plunge. Get in there. Negative. Well, one thing about this table is you're a little at the mercy of the random award that happens to be lit if you make it in the saucer. And you're at the mercy for even dropping in the saucer. Because sometimes it just doesn't. Trying to get to this goal of 300 here. Long way to go. Oh. Nice. 
nice. Hey, hey, I'll take it. No, no, no. <laughs> wow. 260. It's a tough table. Trying to get to three. No luck. Anyway, I hope you learned something. Again, thank you, Greg at G Parker's Arcade. Thank you, Dan at Pinstrats Dan. Links to their YouTube pages are below. Hope you guys learned something and enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.